What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Survival in Minecraft. Last episode, I built this giant loot and XP farm. And as you can see, I would say it's getting pretty efficient. Um, At least it feels like it's alright. I haven't really messed with it at all. And as you can see, I added iron bars up here. Which now seems like it's preventing the spiders from coming all the way down, so that seems like a pretty nice uh, feature. Not really a feature, but this was kind of like a visual uh, feature more so than anything. And it seems like it's holding out the spiders, which is good. But if I get close enough here and I whack a few of the mobs... If I get into the certain position, as you can see... The, s the skeletons will start shooting me. As you can see, it is music. It is music. Oh, it's nothing anymore. But, <laughs> but as you can see, <laughs> for the most part, without the creepers blowing up, it is music disc galore here. So I got five. Or four, excuse me, just from... I have, I got five today, but four just now, from just what? Not not doing much of anything. Besides just getting positioned in the right spot so the skeletons see me, and uh, pretty much what they're doing is trying to shoot me, but they end up shooting the creepers. And uh, yeah, that is a good way to get some music. This has for sure, as you can see. So our rate is kind of slow, but. Not too big of a deal. I might make another trap for something else at a later point, but in this episode, what I would like to do is make an updated, at least a little update to my crop farm over here. I want to make it a little bit, I'm trying to think if I should make it larger. I'm not too sure if I, sh if I should even bother. Um, Before I do anything real quick, let me just breed some of these cows. Obviously, this is how I've been getting most of my food. These guys have been doing the trick. Can I get one more? There we go. So, this has been working fairly well for me. The sheep I haven't really been doing too much with. Uh, let, me, let me share them. Just for the hell of it. Just in case I need, I don't know, carpet for anything. I got these, uh, nice pieces of wool here. Just in case I need them for anything. Yeah, it seems like I can't get these ones. Whatever. And it looks like I miscalculated. I was pretty sure. Oh, doesn't look like that cow's interested anymore. Never mind. I thought I had gotten just enough, but apparently not. Or an equal amount so, you know, they would breed. So, I would like to do that this episode, and I would also like to put a barrier around my base. Now, I did, I did start using regular oak fences. I don't know if I should switch to birch, because that, that, that would match the theme up there. Or, I should just leave them the way it is. I don't know. Let me see here. Let me just do a little bit of, a uh, testing, I guess. I don't think this would look good if this was the same color as the building. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. It doesn't stand out. Yeah, I'm not too big of a fan of that. Oh, okay, I thought I was going to get rid of all of the grass. I don't know, I think that looks pretty good. Not, not uh, too crazy. Oh, I gotta do it this way, pain in the ass. As you can see, I did get another villager. Uh, He buys coal for an emerald. I don't know, let me... This is a pain in the ass doing this. Holy hell. Oh. Okay. 
And I still can't get out. Okay, well, we're gonna do uh, the old trick over here. All right, well, I I'm gonna go ahead and assume that these guys consider this to be a village. I'm gonna see if I can push this guy back in here without him giving me a hard time. Thank you. All right. So I don't have to worry about him getting killed now. So, I guess I'm just going to use oak fences. So, I wonder how this actually, okay, I do have a pretty good amount of oak wood. Got some more fences here. Spruce wood, I need to make another larger tree. Let's get some bone meal. And of course, I'll probably, yeah, I'll plant it. Right next to the horse. Alright, there we go. So that is grown. Let me let me go ahead and, and chop down a few pieces of this. I don't know if I'm going to get to building the whole, uh, I guess, fence around the perimeter today. I kind of want to get started around some of the main points. I don't know what I'm going to do around the fishing thing I got going on. I don't know if I should go around it what the case will be but I, I guess I might as well chop down this whole tree now since I'm up here uh oh how much is there okay there we go all right so yeah I don't know I don't know if I should uh make my crop land a little bit larger or if I should just move it underground. I don't think I want to move it underground, but I think I have an idea. I think I might, yeah. Oh shit, no, no. You might be a shitty horse, but I want to keep you. <laughs> Alright, so. I'm trying to think. <laughs> I don't know what would look good here. Uh, I guess sugarcane would be something else I would like to continue to grow because I completely got rid of a place to grow sugarcane. Let me start off with that. I think I have an idea for a nice little sugarcane area and this helmet doesn't go in there. Is there any room in here? Nope, that's why it went in there. I need to make another area for stuff that I have large amounts of. Alright, so let's get the second water bucket. Sugar cane, I should have a yeah, bunch in here. Carpet. Carpet, carpet, carpet. I'm trying to think if I should even bother dyeing any of the carpet. What do you guys think? You guys think I should dye it? So it'd be nice if it matched. Let me see here. Do I have... I don't. I wanted to see if I had any squid... ink sacks. But apparently I don't. I don't know. I thought I would have some down here, but apparently not. So I'm gonna head back up here. And I will get that Iron Golem farm to work. <laughs> I just haven't played on this world. Again, I don't play on this world as much as I play on the Fortress server. Um, most of the time that I play Minecraft... ...is, uh... ...you know, doing stuff on the server, so... ...I don't get to do stuff on this server as much as I... ...do on the... ...Fortress... I mean, you know, I do more stuff on the Fortress server than on this series, so... Alright, so I'm gonna kill a few of these guys. Nice, I got five from him. Okay, up to twelve. It would be nice if I had some depth strider here. Come over here, sweetheart. I'm just gonna kill you. Alright, so this should bring me up to near twenty, yep. Alright, that should be good. I wanna make light gray carpet. I think that'll fit pretty well. And hopefully soon, if I'm able to find a nice a nice nether fortress, I might start Go Wither Skull hunting. That is something I might do. And uh, we'll fight the Wither Skeleton. Oh, yeah, we're gonna fight a Wither Skeleton. The boss. <laughs> I'll fight the Wither. And uh, we'll get a beacon. So 
So that'll be pretty useful. If I get this iron golem farm to work, then... Then I could actually, you know, start saving up some iron. So if I do this, give me some of that, and I put this with this, light gray. This isn't going to give me a lot at all. Damn. 15. Okay, I have a shit ton of bone mail in here, so that's good. I don't think I'm going to be using black. Oh, damn. One over here. Okay, so this should help me for the rest. That's what? Uh, over 30, right? Yeah, 42. Perfect. I can just go back in there. So, what I want to do here... Oh, I have a pretty good idea. I need to figure out some roof for this place, and I need to get some uh, clay. Even though there was clay in that pond that I was just at. What I want to do is... Oh, I gotta... Okay, that did the trick. I'll just do that again. Okay, alright then. Thank you, thank you. Let me uh, get a block here. I did enchant the shovel. And it looks like this is higher than a full block. Interesting. I enchanted a shovel with level 30. Got efficiency 4, I'm breaking 3, fortune 2, so that's not bad. Um, let me put this over here just to fill this up so I can do this properly. Okay, it still doesn't feel like doing it. There we go. I just want to get rid of most of this. And I have an idea. Oh, no wonder why. I didn't notice this. I did not even notice this. Alright, here we go. That'll do the trick. Let me get these torches back. And of course this... Soil. I wish there was a way that you could easily fix this. It's easier, to be honest, just to do this. So I have fortune. Or not fortune, excuse me. I have efficiency 4 on here. Which allows me to insta-mine dirt and grass. That was a stack? Damn. Didn't expect it to be that much. Alright. Well, regardless, I'm going to fill this in. I'm going to make a little spot for sugarcane over here. I didn't need to fill in all of this, but I did anyway. But what I want to do here is... I might move this pond a little bit over. But what I want to do is we'll leave two spots. And... One, two, three, four, five, six. That's six blocks. Seven. I guess we can do this. That'll be eight. We'll place that with dirt just so it fits in. And we'll just start filling this in. Make this infinite water source so there's no annoying water sound. And we'll replace it. Can you? Oh, okay, good. I was wondering how that would actually work. Let me uh, turn hostile mobs up a little bit. I turned them down because those mobs up there were extremely loud. There we go. So now I can just do this. I don't know if there's an easier way to do this, but this is working pretty. What the? F this is working pretty well. These stupid mobs. Alright, so I was going to leave two spots, two spaces open here, but I think what I'm going to do is plant sugarcane on this side. And same on this side. Just like so, let me get some of this. This guy's eyeing me down over here. What's my local difficulty? Over 5, isn't it? 4.47. Alright, let me uh, take care of some of these guys. I think the best part about the local difficulty being high is it, it's pretty cool. To see all these mobs with armor on, and I like that. A lot, that's a nice addition that they got going on. Drop the helmet. I'm breaking two, that's not bad. I just wanted to see if I could dodge him, but... Apparently that's not the case, and you're dead. Okay, so... I'm gonna head back over here. I wanna patch... Obviously this up. I wanna move that pond over just a little bit. So I need to grab some dirt. Real quick, I'll take a stack from in there, and let's come down here and fill that in. OK, 
Okay. Then we'll adjust this to look normal. Okay, I would say that'll do the trick. And place water there, grab one from there, place it there, and then one in the middle. Okay, how does that look? Let me just do that. All right, good. Okay, so I just wanted a little bit of room just to separate the two. And the best part about this is you can walk over this without falling, so it's nice and simple. Okay, so I'm again going to do the same here. And that'll allow me for that. Then I can put another one here. What do you want from me? Leave me alone! What the... I don't know if that was just a randomly played noise, or... There's actually a... Zombie somewhere, but... Regardless, we'll just ignore it for now. I place these in the wrong spot. What the? There we go. Then I can finish that off, and then I'll finish this. Okay, that's done. Then put sugar cane over here, and sugar cane over here. So we got a nice little place just to grow sugar cane, and I think. Oh, perfect! Mix it up. Ten times easier. Good. Alright, and then... Just so that's not touching, I'll do that. I'll drop a torch right over here. Put one right there. Now... Do you guys think I should add some lighting under this carpet? Let me know. If you think I should or not. And this dandelion, I'll just put over there. Alright, so let me curve this side a little bit. Alright, that looks good. So we got a nice little spot to grow sugar cane. That's nice. Nice and simple. And I don't know if I'm going to be getting to the barriers around the, the house today. It's a lot easier to do it from this side, it seems. Yeah. That bastard almost got out. Alright, so let me sleep real quick. Just to pass the night. Of course there's torches on the floor. Take the water! Of course, now he's close to the door. It's probably gonna glitch through the wall. Would you get through the... This bastard. This bastard. I tell you. These... These guys are dickheads. Yeah. Guarantee you glitch. Oh, that fucker's dead. Yo, what's up, bitch? What you want? Hey, now you're horny for me, aren't ya? Hmm? Oh my god. Why? Just get in the house. What I should do? I honestly should just move my bed into another room. What? Too much of a dumbass. Alright, so... I'm trying to see here. So I'm gonna use carpet. I'm gonna continue using the theme for carpet. To hide water. But I do like this. I like this a lot. Nice and simple. Nice. And uh, symmetrical and whatnot. All the same. So to fill in area. An area. I could put another spot over here. But I don't think that'll look good. I think what I might do. Is. Flatten this out a bit. Try to keep the torches in the same spot. I want to flatten this out. Try to make it look natural. Okay, that looks fine. And let's go down. I'm going to say another, another layer over here. And I'm going to put wheat, carrots, and potatoes back here. Right, just flatten this out because there's no real need for a mountain over here. I guess a little hill, not really a mountain. Let me move this over a little bit. Okay, I think that's good. 
And place the torch back right there. Alright, so here we go. Nice little space back here. Should it be elevated this high or should it go down one more? Of course I fell in here. Good. I'll just do this. I was going to place water down, but I think the animals would have gotten out. Um... I think it would be nice to have this all be flat here. Start running out of room in my inventory here in a second. With all this dirt. But at least you can see this now, which is nice. Without, you know, being able to jump over it extremely easily. Alright, so let's... Carve out this a little bit here. Alright, so let me fill this in. This is going to take a little bit longer. But, um, yeah. We'll have three little sections over here. I'm going to say... I'm trying to think how... How it should be. I don't want them to be too big, and I don't want them to be too small. I guess we'll see how much... Room we have here to fit three little sections for each each piece of uh, each crop, I guess. So let me curve this a little bit. Yep, I would say that works out good. All right, so I'm gonna put some of the stuff that I don't need away. I don't need this. Uh, seeds I'll, I will need. I'll put those away just to have some in here. Obviously, they could go in the other chest, but it's not too big of a deal. Put that in there for now. Put the bow up there. Dirt. I have a ton of dirt now. Alright, I'll keep a stack. Boots I'll just throw in there. Okay. So. There is a hoe in this chest. Yeah. I don't think this is going to do the trick, but I guess we'll find out. Okay. So, let me push this back a little bit more. Alright, I like that. That looks good. So, am I going to be able to fit three sections here? I think I can. All right, so we'll put one like that. And we can go two around on each side like that. This is three. Oh, it's four actually, no. How does that work out? That yeah, should be three. Alright, let me make an iron hoe so it lasts a little bit longer. And we'll get the sections figured out. Okay, so I need that. Let me get these back again. And I think actually what I will do is let me show you guys something. I think I can make something work out nicely here. Uh, sticks. Got two sticks in there. Okay, don't know why I just got that if I already made a hoe earlier. Okay. So that's three, three, three. Let me get rid of some of this. All right, I think that works. And... I think that's a large enough spot. I mean, I don't really need it to be too large. Of course. Let me come back over here and fill up my water buckets again. And, of course, obviously, crops are getting all messed up because there's no water. Okay, let's till this again. 
And what I was thinking of doing is... Let me fix that. I was thinking of maybe doing... Should I put it here? Of course, I'm going to mess that up. One, two, three. Two, three. I don't know. I just want a nice little section here. And if I get... Sticks. To make more fences. What I'm going to use... Is oak. Or not oak. Spruce, which you can just do this. Put those like this. Is this how they're made? No, that's that's the gate. There we go. 21. And I want to try this out here. I feel like it should be up one more. All right, so that's four. Two, three, four. If I did this... I don't think I'm going to have enough for this, but... We'll try what we have here. As a matter of fact, I think I will. All right. I can get these two done like this. Two, three, four, five. Okay, I have one extra. So I was thinking of doing that, we'll put... So we'll put potatoes here. Something simple. So we got that done. And I'm only going to do this one on screen, I'll do the other two off. Because it's honestly the same thing. So that's that, and what I would like to do... Is hopefully, I don't think I have stone... Oh, perfect. Exactly what I needed, right there. We're going to take these babies, and we're going to put these on top. Kind of like a little overhang type thing, a little roof section. So your crops don't get all wet, I guess. And you're going to put these like this, and we're going to cover it with stone brick slabs, just like so. Don't know if I'm going to have an overhang just yet. Okay, I really wish I could do something cool with this. Alright, well, whatever. We'll fill it in for now. I could put cobblestone there, actually. But do something like this, and maybe actually bring this out... ...one more block. Like so. Of course, I messed that up. Let's go ahead and grab that. Yeah, I think this will do the trick. What do you guys think? Does this have like a farmy feel to it? Let me... Let me get a... Pumpkin. I don't know where. What are, I don't even know where I got pumpkins from, but... Since this is kind of... More so than anything, hidden lighting... I'm gonna grab one of these. I'm gonna save the other jack-o'-lantern, or... Whatever the hell you want to call it. Pumpkin. Just to make, uh... I guess a pumpkin farm, and I'm gonna place this. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to it, but what I wanna do is place that. Just to give that a little bit of lighting. And carpet, can I place that? Perfect. Um, now it's probably still a little bit dark, so. Just so no mobs come over here. Or spawn. I'm gonna place torches. Just for now. Let me know what you guys think of this. I don't know, there might. There might need to be a border around this. For it to look good, maybe like some andesite around the perimeter here. I might push this back a block, maybe right there, and have andesite going around. That might do the trick. We got Squidward over here. Not even horny for me. Oh, of course. As soon as I whacked him into there, I knew it was gonna break it. But I think other than that, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. Let me know what you guys think of this. And... I'm trying to think what else. Let me know what you guys think of the roof and then I guess a little perimeter. I need to move that tree out of the way, but... 
you guys think I should add some lighting in here to make this scroll faster, let me know as well. But I think this will do the trick for now. Kind of like this, nice and simple. I should be able to put another two. And, uh, yeah, we will be set with, uh, with this farm area over here. I thought it would be nicer to have, you know, a specific spot for each crop. And if I can get the... Okay, it actually worked. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, that seems like... That seems pretty right. Alright, then again, there'll probably be another two there. That's if I'm able to fit them. I guess we'll see. But other than that, thank you guys for watching this episode. Of course, I always appreciate you guys watching and support and whatnot. I just hit 32,000 subscribers, so thank you. And uh, other than that, thank you guys for watching this episode, and I will see you guys next time.